case of Armin Maywes might be one of the most bizarre in true crime history. Although the story involves horrific mutilation, dismemberment, and cannibalism, there's something else which makes this case so unique. The man whom Armin Maywes murdered and consumed, Bernd Jürgen Brandis, offered himself to Armin as a willing victim. Together, the two acted out their cannibalistic fantasies, resulting in Baron Brandis' gruesome death. Born in 1961 in Kassel, Germany, Armin Maywest suffered a lonely childhood. His father abandoned the family when Armin was only eight. And Armin's mother was particularly strict and overbearing. At age 10, Maywest created an imaginary friend named Frankie, a name which would grimly echo in his eventual crimes. By age 12, Muse's cannibalistic desires began to develop. He fantasized about killing and eating his friends so that they could never leave him. May West lived with his mother until her death in 1999, when May West was aged 38. When she died, he inherited the family home. Isolated and alone, Muses turned to pornography for gratification, eventually craving more and more extreme material. His cannibalistic fantasies reared their head again, and in 2000, May West placed an advertisement on fetish website called The Cannibal Cafe. I am looking for a young, well-built male aged 18 to 30 to be slaughtered and consumed. Amazingly, May West received a lot of replies to his request. Although many responses were from fantasists who only wanted to indulge their desires via messages, May West received a genuine reply from a man named Borg Jose. After exchanging several messages, Jose paid a visit to Muse's home with the intention of being slaughtered and eaten. But at the moment they were about to go through with the act, Jose backed out. May West, whilst clearly disheartened, untied Jose from his restraints and let him walk free. May West later claimed that he wouldn't kill anyone who was not willing to die. But Muse's search didn't end there. He returned to the cannibal cafe, posting under the same name as his imaginary childhood friend, Frankie. Then, May West received a response from 43-year-old Baron Jürgen Brandis. Brandis was a bisexual male who was in a steady relationship with his long-term girlfriend. However, Brandis had a secret desire to be killed and eaten. In particular, he had an obsession with sexual mutilation. And Brandis believed Maywes could be the person to help him achieve his ultimate high. They discussed the best way for Brandis to be consumed and the subsequent disposal of his body. After a month of exchanging messages, Brandis traveled to Maywes' home on March 9, 2001. Maywes' home was chaotic, with most rooms cluttered with mess and mementos of Mew's mother dotted everywhere. Once inside, May West took Brandis to his bedroom. First, they made love, then May West showed Brandis his slaughter rooms. May West then fed Brandis sleeping pills, alcohol, and an entire bottle of cough medicine. Once Brandis was drowsy, they began their main course. However, not before May West set up a video camera to film the entire event. May West took his mouth to Brandis's penis where he attempted to castrate him with his teeth. While it bled violently, he was unable to castrate him entirely. So May West finished the job with a kitchen knife. Brandis remained conscious, despite the excessive blood loss. May West then took Brandis and placed him in the bathtub. As Brandis lay on the brink of certain death, he made a strange request. He asked May West if they could eat his own castrated genitals together. May West obliged, however, the raw meat was too thick for the weakened Brandis to chew. Therefore, May West cooked the castrated penis with some garlic and pepper. Brandis lay dying in the bathtub for the next 10 hours before May West finally put an end to his misery. He stabbed Brandis in the neck, with May West later claiming, I waited horrified for the end after doing the deed. It took so terribly long. Once Brandis was dead, Muse's cannibalism fantasies became a reality. 
He hung Brandis's body on a meat hook in his slaughter room, then dissected his body into smaller chunks. Maywest stored Brandis body parts in his freezer and consumed him gradually over the next 10 months. But Maywest, now with a taste for human flesh, hunted for another victim on the Cannibal Cafe in 2002. In some posts, he boasted of having eaten human body parts before, which alerted some of the users to possible criminal activity. On December 11, 2002, Muse's home was raided by local police after being tipped off by another user of the Cannibal Cafe. Inside, they found Muse's slaughter room, along with the remains of Baron Brandis and Muse Freezer. But most damning of all, was the videotape Mae West recorded of the entire slaughter. Police trawled Muse's computer, finding his correspondence with Brandis and potential other victims over the years. It was over. Mae West was arrested and eventually convicted of manslaughter. He received an eight-year prison sentence. The case received worldwide coverage, sparking a debate over Muse's innocence. After all, Brandis had been a willing victim in the murder. However, it wasn't enough to convince German courts. In 2005, courts ordered a retrial after prosecutors were unhappy with Muse's manslaughter sentence. A year later, he was sentenced to life imprisonment, where he remains today. The video of Baron Brandis' slaughter has never been released to the public.